KPD was established by Mustafa Barzani in 1946, who led an armed conflict against Baghdad until an autonomy deal was reached in 1970. After his death in 1979, his son Massoud took over the party. In 1975, Jalal Talabani broke away from the KPD to establish the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan. The PUK collaborated with the KDP on achieving greater autonomy, but the two also fought a civil war in the 1990s. The Goran movement was founded by Naushirwan Mustafa in 2009 after his resignation from the PUK. The party is known for being the official opposition to the two ruling parties. Now, for more on this, TRT World's editor-at-large, Ahmed al Burai joins us in the studio. Ahmed, great to see you here. Now, first of all, why are Masoud Barzani's um, supporters so angry? What are they angry about? They were most probably frustrated. They thought that this referendum is going to bring their leader uh, to the forefront again. The mandate, the legitimacy of uh, Barzani was in question. It was on the stake because, you know, like since 2013, he uh, expired the two terms and he should have another term with other election, but that was not the case. That's why they were thinking that by this referendum, they're going to achieve the historical uh, aspiration of the Kurdish uh, people in the region. They're going to establish their autonomous entity over there. But it seems that it was a big gamble of the leader, their leader, and it wasn't paid off. So he uh, has to uh, pay back. It, it uh, backfired. It backfired. Yeah. So where exactly does this leave now Barzani's dream of independence? The, the, the most important thing for Barzani was to institutionalize the nationalist movement of the Kurdish population in the KRG and he was the thinking that he before leaving he's now almost 71 years old and before leaving or resigning he's going to achieve this and it was by a way or another a blunder it was a big mistake it, it was a uncalculated a calculus that he did this mistake Regard, regardless he completely disregarded Turkey's concerns and a recommendation that this is not the right time to do it but he uh, went for and he did it. Now the point is he cannot go on because of one, his legitimacy is on the stake. Second, he needs to bring in other uh, new faces, new blood, he said. Maybe the new generation like uh, Nijirvan, his nephew, or his son, uh, Masrur Barazani, could join the, the, the board and a, 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 a try to find other ways to get out from the stand off that is going on right now but it is till this moment a dilemma they it's not a in the near future it doesn't seem that they're, they're by way or another they're going to find any immediate solution because things are so complicated at this right moment of time so they're complicated but what about a successor who will be Bazani's successor in all of this mess the, the problem is the other party, that, like the uh, Patriotic Union Party, doesn't come out with any uh, decent candidate. The Ga uh, Gallon Party as well, they don't have any candidate to offer. So it's only we have the nephew of Masoud Barazani, Nujavan Barazani. He is now the current prime minister. And we have his son, Masrur Barazani. He is a very articulate person. Now, uh, uh, the, the, the prime minister, the current uh, prime minister is very close to Turkey and he's welcomed here in Turkey it seems that he is going to have uh, most probably he's going to be the leader but Barzani himself Masoud Barzani is going to be the president of the party as well as the president of the Peshmerga so he's going to be in the back chair a uh, controlling everything but this guy is going to be the new face of the government in uh, the international arena so he'll be in in the background Barzani will he still be able to have some influence or, or not the, in this region still the leader the historic leader is the most influential whether they step down, whether they resign, they still have their word. The Barzani, he is still the founder of the party, and he is still the most influential. Yes, the, for, for him, politically, he committed a big mistake for many of the analysts in the region by doing this referendum at this particular time, but still he is the most respected figure in the region. That's why you would see that the supporters, uh, they stormed the parliament. They're asking for him to uh, read 
rejuvenate the, the term. This is the same as what happened at the time of Abdul Nasser when he lost the president of Egypt in 1967. The population took to the street and they asked him to stay in power. This could happen because many of the analysts I've been following some, they're saying that he didn't completely step down. He's asking for more momentum and support okay. from the street.